All right, I got some white base coat here, mixed about two to one. We're gonna go ahead and use that. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe down the whole thing with wax grease remover before we paint base coat. And then we're gonna hit it with the, uh, this brand of tack cloth. Does a pretty good job. All right, this air pressure for my paint gun are 80 to 90 PSI to the regulator. And then I like to go about, when you trigger it, about 40 PSI, I think. We're going to place three coats of base coat on this project. This is basically just like a paper that's sticky on one side and then it's just like regular paper on this side and then what we can do is we're going to put this over the top of that fridge and then we can draw everything out and then we can cut it out with an exacto knife and we can just paint what we want to as we're ready for it. Alright we got the sticky side facing towards the fridge. All right, on this next piece, we gotta make sure we overlap it just a little bit. Here's my setup. I have the keyboard and mouse. I just run a cheap um, projector you can get off Amazon. You got my Frisket paper onto the fridge where you got just a little bit of an overlap. That's how you want it make sure no overspray gets in there. All right, we'll project that image and kind of see it already. I'll turn the lights out and you'll really better see it. And I'm gonna use a pen. I'm just gonna draw all this stuff out. And then uh, we'll get started with the exacto knife cutting out what we want to airbrush. This part of the project took me over an hour, so I didn't want to have all this footage. So I sped this up for your convenience. I got a lot of it just kind of quickly sketched out. Notice that I do the white, red, all the lettering so I know what color is what. That really helps when you're doing the cutting and painting process. You want to make sure you do that, on, especially when you have stripes, because they'll change at the bottom and if you get that wrong, it'll be real noticeable. So I try to label everything. Okay, I didn't like how these stars kind of came out they were just kind of choppy it was a very pixelated photo that I'd used for the projection so I just cleaned it up by printing it off um, the stars and then I just cut it out with an exacto knife and then I just airbrushed some black through it and now I've got a really nice star to trace out Absolutely love this machine. If you don't have one, I highly recommend you get one if you do much painting. I'm gonna go around to every star and I'm just gonna let the overspray of the black cause an indention. So we're just gonna go over all these and kind of line, outline them. You notice I have a reference here. Kind of shows me that I need to do a lot of highlights stretching to make it look like it's been stitched.
like to soften it, I'm just running some of that blue, the original blue. goes a long way on the on the stars so we don't want to get too carried away with them just gonna lightly start shading it in these are all darker in here try to stay off of your old stuff where it looks like kind of stretch in here at the bottom and then I'm gonna fade it on the sides I'm gonna fade all the stars out where they disappear kind of like they're ghosted back there all right now I'm just gonna mask off everything but the red stripes Right here, I'm cutting out all the red stripes. called dagger strokes where I just like a dagger airbrush a straight line as I can and I'm just gonna try to make it look like these are stitched if you look along a flag sometimes they've got like lines from where the fabrics being pulled tight from the stitch I start on the paper that way if I uh, mess up or it ain't flowing good I got time to stop before I go on to the project Since we have white base coat underneath the red stripes, you can use your X-Acto knife and lightly scuff the stitches in the flag.
All right, now I got some white back in the airbrush and I gotta be very careful not to overdo it with this. Just a little bit of highlights here and there, just to give it a little bit more dimension. I don't wanna lose the realism by going too crazy with this. So I'm just gonna lightly brush this in. Now I'm going to start on the banner. I'll start off by unmasking it and then also masking off the background that we don't want the paint on. I also used a dark brown to start airbrushing in some of the folds in the banner. Alright, now we're going to give this banner some color. Now this is a stencil, I have a link to the Amazon affiliate link to this. This is going to give it a little bit more texture, I don't want it to be too perfect. Ready for the lettering, I'm going to print that off with my Cricut vinyl cutter. I like the way the banner turned out on here. Now it's time for the tractor. This might be a little more complicated. You want to constantly scroll back and forth from your reference photo onto your project to make sure you're doing all the colors in the correct spots.
All right, I cut a piece of this drywall tape. This is that mesh that you put in between the drywall. Um, it's got a slight tack to it, so it'll actually kind of stick to the project, so I think it'll work perfect. So we're gonna stick it right here. of this video I'm just gonna go ahead and mask this off and I'll bring you guys back on I'm masking off everything that hasn't been painted yet Okay, now we're ready to start unmasking it. We want to go careful, take our time. We don't want to have to do too much touch up. I'm sure we'll have to do some, but we don't want to do too much. a lot of freehand stencils to make sure we get everything correct. We don't want to paint on something that we've already painted. I also use my vinyl cutter to cut out the letters that go on for the decals. Cutting all those out with an X-Acto knife would be extremely tough for how small they are, but it's possible. For the fridge emblem on the front, I decided to paint it white 
and then I used sandpaper to let the metal shine through and it kind of gave it a cool look. Now using House of Color Tangela Orange, I'm painting just the sides to where I can place a logo that I printed off with the Cricut Vinyl Cutter. And I'm going to paint black over the whole fridge and then when I peel this back, it'll reveal the logos on the side. Time to start unmasking everything. You see how when we unmask it, it reveals the orange logos? I love that look. Here's the finished project. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All I have left to do on this project is clear coat it, and I'm going to put orange glow in the back, and I'm also going to replace the seals. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Please check out the other videos on my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Thanks.